జయం విష్ణు పాల పరమహంస పరివర్జక చార్య స్తృష్టి శ్రీమద్ స్వామి అభయ చరణ భక్తి ధన స్వామి శిల ప్రభుపారికి జయం విష్ణు పాల పరమహంస పరివ్రజక చార్య అష్టతరష్ట శ్రీ శ్రీమతి స్వామి భక్తి సిద్ధాంత సరస్వతి కుల ప్రభుపాల మహారాజ్ కీ జయ అనంత కుటి వైష్ణవ వృంద కీ జయ గ్రంథరాజ్ శ్రీమద్ భాగవతం మహాపురాణ కీ జయ ఇదా గౌర ప్రేమనండి ఓ గ్లోరీస్ టు దెంబల్ ది ఓడిస్ ఓ గ్లోరీస్ టు దెంబల్ ది ఓడిస్ ఓ గ్లోరీస్ టు దెంబల్ ది ఓడిస్ జయ శ్రీ శ్రీ గురు గౌరంగి జయ శ్రీల ప్రభుపాలి కీ జయ ఓం నమో భగవతే వాసుదేవాయ ఓం నమో భగవతే వాసుదేవాయ ఓం నమో భగవతే వాసుదేవాయ టుడే వీ రీడింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీమద్ భాగవతం థర్డ్ క్యాన్ టు ఫస్ట్ చాప్టర్ టెక్స్ట్ నంబర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పరకృత్య అస్తే నిర్వాస్యతు పురాత్రోపజుహా నిర్వాస్వతరాజువసాజుహా నిర్వాస్యతరాజువసాజుహాజిహ్మ నిర్వాస్యసుపురాజువసాజుహా దశ్యాసుతరాజువసాజీ ప్లీజ్ జిహ్మీపరకృత్యాస్తివాస్యతరాజువసాన్ కాయేనమాత్రోపజుహాజిహ్మీపరకృత్యాస్తే 
निर्वास्यतम असुपुर का हु एनम दिस अत्र हियर उपजुहाव कोल्ड फोर जीहम क्रुकट दास्या ऑफ ए कैप्ट मिस्ट्रेस सूतम सन यत हुज बलिना बाय हु सब्सिस्टेंस एवा सटनली पुष्टः ग्रोन अप तस्मिन अंटो हेम प्रतीपः एनिटी पराकृत्ये एनिमिस इंटरेस्ट आस्ते सिचुएटेड निर्वास्यताम गेट हिम आउट आसु इमीडिएटली पूरात फ्रॉम द पैलेस स्वासान लेट हिम ब्रीथ ओनली ट्रांसलेशन एंड प्रोपोर्ट बाईज डिवाइन ग्रेस एसी भक्तिवेदांत स्वामी शिल प्रोपार की जाए who asked him to come here the son of a kept mistress he is so crooked that he spies in the interest of the enemy against those on whose support he was grown up toss him out of the palace immediately and leave him with only his breath purport when getting married the kshatriya kings would take on several other youthful girls along with the married princess this girl attendants of the king were known as dasis or attendant mistresses by intimate association with the king the dasis would get sons such sons were called dasi putras they had no claim to a royal position but they would get maintenance and other facilities just like princes vidura was the son of such a dasi and he was thus not counted among the kshatriyas king dhritarashtra was very affectionate toward his younger dasi putra brother vidura and vidura was a great friend and philosophical advisor to dhritarashtra duryodhana knew very well that vidura was a great soul and well wisher but unfortunately he used strong words to hurt his innocent uncle duryodhana not only attacked vidura's birth but also called him an infidel because he seemed to support the cause of yudhishthira whom duryodhana considered his enemy he desired that vidura be immediately put out of the palace and deprived of all his possessions if possible he would have liked him uh, him uh, cain until he was left his with nothing but his breath he charged that vidura was a spy of the pandavas because he advised king dhritarashtra in their favor such is the situation of the palace life and the intricacies of diplomacy that even a faultless person like vidura could be charged with something abominable and punished vidura was struck with wonder at such unexpected behavior from his nephew duryodhana and before anything actually happened he decided to leave the palace for good na ena matro pajuha bajihmam dasya sutam ya balinai vapushta tasmin pratipah parakritya aste nirvasyatam asupura chwasana who asked him to come here the son of kept mistress he is so crooked that he spies in the interest of the enemy against those on whose support he has grown up toss him out of the palace immediately and leave him was only his breath omagyanati mirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshurun mritam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha narayanam namaskrityam naram chaiva narottamam devim saraswatim vyasam tato jayumudhirayet 
ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಯೇಶೋ ಭಾದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವಚುತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಠಿಕಿ ಎಂ ಸ್ವಾನುಭಾವಮಖಿಲ ಶ್ರುತಿಸಾರಮೇಕಂ ಅಧ್ಯತ್ಮದೀಪಮತಿಥಿತೀರ್ಷತಂ ತಮೋಂಧಂ ಸಂಸಾರಿನ ಕರುಣೆಯ ಪುರಾನ ಗುಹ್ಯಂ ತಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೋನುಪಿ ಗುರು ಮುನೀನ ಮುಖಂ ಕರುತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಫಲ್ಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತೆ ಗಿರಿ ತತ್ಕ್ರಿಪತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಂದಿನ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೋ ಕರುಣಾವತಾರೌ ವಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭ್ಯ ಕ್ರೀಪ ಸಿಂಧೂಭ್ಯ ಪಠಿತ ಪವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭೂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೆಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಸಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂ meaningful words and especially in front of such a wonderful Vaishnava as I feel a little bit um, mixed feeling as if I came back home actually that really <laughs> to my senior uncles and brothers and uh, as we can learn from Srimad Bhagavatam especially from this uh, Vidura Leela that it's very important not to transgress Mariyada via Tikrama as further we can see when he will meet udhava he will request udhava to give bhagavatam class to him and to become his spiritual master basically but udhava kindly folded his hand and said no can you go to maitreya and shri prabhupad nicely writes in the commentary that shri udhava ji he heard all the instructions directly from krishna himself in prabhasa as well as maitreya but when vidura who was much much elder than him much more experience in life you can say when he approached him to give bhagavatam class he folded his hands and said no actually i cannot become your spiritual master though he could and propat very nicely writes that we have to be very careful with maryada vyatikrama principle not to transgress not to be eager too much to give instructions in the presence of senior of your seniors so therefore i humbly beg for your blessings as bhaktinath thakur also once he wrote that don't be eager to conquer the assembly of vaishnavas by your bold so called preaching now you should not impress senior vaishnavas we have to be always humble as shri durji in this case so we humbly ask the blessings from all the presence present vaishnavas so we can speak few meaningful words because this is very very important i think topic to discuss uh when difficulties comes it's nice to become vaishnava when sun is shining there is no, there is no fog like today there is peaceful life and mahaprasadam and time but when challenges comes as they say in hindi dukh mein sumiran sob kare sukh mein kare na koi jo sukh mein sumiran kare to dukh kahe ka hoy when difficulties comes everybody remembers god but when happiness is there nobody remembers who cares So therefore this is a test this is acid test practically and as they say um when people leave you know when people leave it's nice when um, people laughing it's not a problem when people laughing at you when you are leaving but this problem is much worse than when they are crying sorry it's oh, just vice versa it's not a problem when people uh laughing at you much worse than they are crying you see when they are uh, you giving trouble to the people but this material world sadhu he always gives you know what we need to hear and vidura was as we um, read is this in this purport of shila prabhupad he was in such a position as an advisor though he was in um dasiputra status status it reminds me about the prayer which wonderful prayer from padyavali where rupa goswami he describes the glory of devotional service where he explains that devotional service doesn't depend on our piety high birth or position or opulence 
he says vyadhyasa charanam dhruvasya chaivayo vidya gajendrasya ka kubjah kim yuna marupam adikam kim sudhamno dhanam vamsah ko vidurasya yadava patir ugrasya kim paurusham bhaktya tushyati kivalam nachagunair bhakti priyo madhava he says that where was that um, maturity where is was the piety of hunter mrigari right where was the druva maharaj's maturity he was a young boy not mature at all where was the gajendra's learning in where is the kubja's beauty and where was sudama's wealth as well as where was vidura's noble birth where was the ugrasena's vigorous uh, power and strength lord madhava is pleased only by devotional uh, service not by material qualifications and we can see this mood through all bhagavatam same mood we know pralad maharaj you see he wonderfully prays to lord nisinghadev he got the blessings from nisinghadev he said you came to put your hand on my head even lord brahma he didn't get such a mercy you only shaked his hand maximum but in my case you put your hand on my head and who am i brahma daya sura gana muna yo cha siddha satvai katana kata yo vacha sa pravahai na raj tu prognair adhunapi pi prur kim tosham arhasi same harir ugra jate he he says that i am actually from ugra family my father was a demon such a heavy demon hiranyakashipu that even demigods didn't digest in his stomach yet he was rolling his eyes always drunkard and he was not doing anything he was doing and i am his son by the way and here we have brahma daya sura gana munayo cha siddha all the great assembly and i am you came to me you blessed me why because he says of course pralad maharaj is praised that not by dhanabi janarupa tapasu tojas he says that not by opulence not by tapasya not by material qualifications you can impress somebody of krishna bhaktiya tutosha bhagavan gajayutha paya he says by bhakti only even gajendra he was able to please you so vidurji he was um great vaishnava he was mahajan actually and uh, we know this 12 mahajans vidura one of them but pashana pina pashiti materialistic people like duryodhana they could not recognize that they don't have that eyes to see because in this material world bhagavatam explains um we see only through the eyes of our consciousness atmavan manyate jagat so as in in nepal they have wonderful national bhajan they say phulia akama phulia sansar katika akama katika sansar means in the eyes of flower all world is flowery and in the eyes of thorn all world is thorny so it depends how you can look at the things you see so therefore devotees they have the eyes pramanjana churita bhakti vilochane na they can see everything krishna mai pashati sarvatra it's very interesting really very interesting to notice this point i recently read some poems and the writings of shiva bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur he says devotees are very humble like vidurji he is very humble he was just kept kept quiet fully to be wise where ignorance is bliss no need to become wise he just simply you know kept quiet though another party duryodhan they thought that oh we are powerful here so vaishnava humble therefore kirtanya sada hari therefore he always can glorify krishna and remember krishna shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati writes very important point that as we know our uh, mantra sida pranali mantra is trinada pi suni chinna tarora pi sahishna amanina manadina kirtanya sada hari so this principles we have to follow but interesting enough he explains who actually can chant who can develop this principle he says somebody who actually doing maya kirtan not krishna kirtan who inside his heart he wants puja pratishtha kanaka kamini he wants material 
um, possessions and enjoy to the, in this material world, such a person is not humble. He is not humble like a tree. Then he says, the person, uh, he can see that all things in this material world are for my pleasure. Palawan uh, Sukhi. I am the only enjoyer. And all the things are meant for my enjoyment. Such a person, and they, they don't know, such people who don't know uh, how to use everything for Krishna, Anukulyasya Krishna, no. such people not tolerant. Those who want enjoyment and use everything for their enjoyment, they're not humble. And those who don't know how to use everything for Krishna in this world, they're not tolerant. And another very interesting point, the, those people who don't want to give chance to each and every living entity to hear about Krishna. In other words, they don't want to give others chance to become acharyas. And uh, those who um, cannot see, not able to see each and every object of this material world as their guru. They cannot see all living entities as Vaishnavas. They are not Amanina Manadina. Only those who chanting holy name constantly, only they can become spiritual master. So, personally myself, I have a long way to go. If you can just do this criteria. So, Ishwara Hamaham Bhogi. In this material world, we actually have tendency to be in comfortable zone. Which was another letter to Gajendra, Srila Prabhupada wrote, I wrote recently. He said, we are from Nityananda Sampradaya. There are so many Jagai Madhais over there. And we have to go there and uh, to give them chance to hear about Krishna. And as a reward, we'll get scolding, beating, we'll be offended. That's our reward. And he said, Srila Prabhupada in that letter, there is no better way of making spiritual progress than to accept all this scolding and punishment. I, I love to read it for you, but... If you want, remind me. It's a very nice passage. Srila Prabhupada writes to, to Gajendra. And uh, uh, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati, he's first mentioned in, in Acharya Keshari. Uh, he says that we can destroy our laziness. Apathy. Apathy. Laziness. Jada. If we perform very loudly kirtan with pure devotees. Mm. And while putting full faith in that kirtan. And for those devotees who are constantly chanting holy name, Krishna reveals his names, pastimes and qualities. So Bhagavan reveals his transcendental nature and who sincerely chants his holy names. And uh, such devotee, he develops pure love for Krishna only by doing such kirtan, loudly, sincerely, in the association of devotees. I like the shloka in Chaitanya Charitamrita when um, we are praying Krishna Kirtana Gana Nartana Kala Pathonjani Brajita Sad Bhakta Valihangsa Chakra Madhupa Shreni Viharas Padam Karna Nandikala Dvanir Vahatu Mejiva Maruprangani Sri Chaitanya Dayani Dheta Valasalila Shunaswarduni We are praying that devotees of Krishna, they are like swans, like ducks and bumblebees. They are enjoying in the waves of Krishna Katha. But my tongue is like desert. It's like dry completely. And I don't have any taste for this. So I pray, my Lord Chaitanya, uh, that I will get association of such devotees in Los Angeles. Patrida Samhita Tatpare. So, commentary. So, we can get the association of devotees. So, we can swim in this Katha with, along with them. And therefore, we can see that uh, this is the greatest boon if we can get association of devotees. This shloka mentioned actually a couple of times in Bhagavatam. Tulaya malavena pina swargam na punar bhava Bhagavat sanga sangasya martyanam kimutasisa. Bhagavat Sangha Sangasya. Why? Because by being with devotees, we can remember Krishna. Manak smareta shupatir gunamsti. Grindavat karma karutu kaya. Vritrasura says, we can remember. Tadara charana seva bhakta sanivas. Janame janame hoi eyabilas. So, to get this association, we can take anything, whatever it takes. And Vidurji, he leaves palace peacefully. 
without speaking even a single word. As it is said that parents teaching children how to speak and sometimes children teaching parents how to be quiet. This is the case. No words, speechless, just, just left. But see how Vidurji, he, he saw the situation, he said, thank you, this is uh, Antaranga and Bahiranga Shakti acting upon me by giving this wonderful opportunity to get association with devotees in holy places. As Srila Prabhupada explains, we go into holy places not just because to take bath in Ganga or just some water body or somewhere to sightseeing and touch some temples. No. Because devotees are there. Tirtha buddhi salilena karhichit janesh abhigyeshu saiva gokharaha. Bhagavatam explains those who go into the Tirtha place only for the physical exercise, sightseeing and touching someone, some water, they are not better than cows and asses. Why are we going for holy places? Because devotees are there. Because devotees are associating with each other. Bodhayantas parasparam tushyanti charamanti They are speaking about Krishna and we can hear about Krishna. Once Srila Prabhupada came to Boston University, MIT University, and uh, he gave very, very sincere and very important lecture about how it's important, it's emergency to take Krishna consciousness. And after giving such a deep, profound lecture, it was deep meaning. Somebody asked him, Swamiji, why are you putting tilak on your forehead? What is this mark there? Prabhupada became furious, became so freaked out. What a silly question. Prabhupada didn't answer their question. He said, why are you putting tie on, in, on your neck? Such a serious topic and this is a silly question. So then Satsarup Das Goswami, he stood up and explained everything. That whenever sadhu comes, this has become holy place. It become holy place. Therefore, please kindly take advantage of asking him experience and knowledge. What sadhu can give? He cannot copy paste Sanskrit shlokas. I have seen in India, by Krishna's mercy, I am already nearly 30 years in India. We organize kumbh melas, we have seen yogis from small to big walking on the water, what, what not. Some of them, they are snoring in Sanskrit. But they have zero understanding who is God. Hmm. Therefore, only pure devotee can actually give us Krishna. Krishna said to Mara, Krishna Diti Paro, to Mara Shakati Achi. Amito Kangala, Krishna Krishna Bodhi Dhaita Pache Pache. So, that's humble experience required. And Vidurji was very, very humble, naturally very humble. And uh, very nicely, he explains that people, all of a sudden, he, when he met uh, Udhava, he speaks actually. What he speaks? He says, people suffering in this material world. He says, this is a, um, he says, <clears throat> Sukhasya karmani karoti loko na tai sukham vanyat uparamam va vindeta bhuyas tata eva dukham yat atra yuktam bhagavan vadinna. He says, actually, great sage, everybody, everybody in this world engage in fruitive activities to attain happiness. Everybody trying their best, like red race. One man in Hong Kong told me once, Guruji, this life is like rat race. Running, 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 running. Shocking, actually. When we fly to Los Angeles, I, I saw big line of cars everywhere, running, lying like ants. Running, running, running. Busy, 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 busy. Being busy for what? Guy in New York told me, I said, where are you working? I'm working in the company producing tires. I said, why do you need tires? Said, why? For the car. Why do you need the car? To go to the office. Why do you need the office? To produce the car. Tires. And why do you need tires? To produce for the car. And why do you need car? To go to the office. And why do you need office? To produce the tires. Red race. For what? And this guy told me in Hong Kong, even you will win this red race, at the end of the race, you are still the rat. Information, information, no transformation. Yes, yes, the Bhaktir Bhagavat Akinchana. Sarvair gunair tatra samasate suraha. Harav abhaktasya kutum had gunan manuradhina sati dhavato bahihi. Well, those who are practicing Krishna consciousness, devotional service, all good qualities will manifest in their heart. 
but those who are non devotees what is the use manorath hena kutuma hat gunan whatever great quality materials they may have useless running on the chariot of their mind mental platform jivana bhagavatam also explains hmm nahiyat dharma karm nahiyat karma dharma ya na viragaya kalpate nahiyat tirtha seva ya jivana pi mrityu hi saha nahiyat karma dharma if our activities doesn't bring us uh, our activity doesn't bring us to dharma then activity is useless it's away nowhere it's never late to take u turn however long you're traveling in the wrong direction when you woke up that's morning for you but unfortunately people they have no idea where they're going i am always asking a b c d to make the big big building we need to get strong foundation with the pillars like we have here a b c d four pillars aim behavior character discipline if you don't have one pillar all building of the civilization will collapse and there is no point when we making foundation of the building there is no point of thinking what kind of color windows we going to have in the 108th floor let's first finish first things first that's a crazy nunam pramatta kurute vikarma yat indriya prithaya aprinoti is a crazy civilization really nowhere why because people they don't know where they are going andhayan tandarupaniya manasti pishatantre murdam nibandha one blind leading in as a blind and just see what what all world is mass what is a mass all over the world people afraid shocked when i was coming from nepal they said you mad where are you going don't you read the news florida almost dead everybody in california even cockroaches died such epidemics dark people fighting with white people killing everyone is such a it's a war going on there i was thinking oh no people scared and i came here it's okay all right well few masks masks around everywhere but still life is going on but people so shocked all over the world bhaya dvitiya abhinivesha tasya viparya smriti abhinivesha ignorance avidya asmita ragadvesha abhinivesha attachment to this material things and we don't even know that we are just passengers just in few somebody said i think navin anirudh prabhu was saying we are here for few afternoons only we just passengers here hmm. so therefore this knowledge is extremely important and uh, people suffering one shila prabhupad was i think in malaysia and mosquitoes were biting all the devotees and prabhupad said uh, somebody said prabhupad mosquitoes biting everyone but not you because you are pure devotee prabhupad said that's maybe but in calcutta they don't make any discrimination <laughs> so like that everybody suffering in this material world so dukhitasya and uh, why my treasure he said but one finds neither satiation nor uh, mitigation of distress on the contrary one is only aggravated by such activities pran mara say you trying to solve the problem but solution is worse than problem really i mean we coming up with these over there and this virus and then another virus and swine flu and what not and another one and another one waves of so please therefore give us a direction on how one should live for real happiness interesting eh? so and and how um how we can actually find the satisfaction what is the solution who can give us the solution very nice shloka 353 as a homework please kindly read this very nice shloka he says janasya krishna vimukasya daivat adharma shilasya sudukhitasya anugrahayena charanti nunam bhutani bhavyani janardanasya he says that saintly people saintly people philanthropic souls they travel on the earth on behalf of supreme personality of godhead to show the compassion to the fallen souls who are averse to the sense of subordination to the lord vimukhasya daivat vimukhasya just turn back from the lord and therefore sufferings are there therefore saintly people like vidura they just traveling to share krishna's knowledge they are taking all kind of risk swarga pavarga narakesh api tulyartha darshinah they can go to hell why not if it's required to preach krishna consciousness that's so true as bhaktan saraswati he said 
Those who are not trying to give chance to others to become Acharya. Those who are not trying to give Krishna consciousness to others. They are not Amanina Manadena. So important actually. And uh, we can see that nectar, when our two devotees coming together, they getting nectar of Krishna Katha. Some people about the nectar, nectar, nectar. There's some devotees, they're looking, some festival devotees. In, I think, Padma Purana, there is several devotees, disciples. Right? See, Vidura so humble, disciple of Maitreya. He himself Mahajan, but he, become, he doesn't mind to become very humble. I always give example of the bottle. Once it was a bottle, and in the bottle was a bottleneck. And once the bottleneck asked the bottle, my dear bottle brother, you're giving water to everyone, but you never give water to me. Why? I'm your family member, the closest brother. You never give me water. And bottle said, my dear bottleneck, everybody coming from down, I'm giving, and you're sitting on my head, how I can give you? So if you really want to understand, you have to stand under. Under, stand. Surrender means, in Hindi, they call, head means, sir, sir. Sir, under. We have to put our head under. Acharya upaasanam saucham santiratma vinigraha. So to surrender, but because of false sense of subordination, they don't have the sense of subordination because of false ego like road inside. Ting, wow, 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 wow. Very difficult to bow down. I had this experience when I joined Krishna consciousness. Just we were in Alachua and I remember we had a wonderful opportunity to meet with Kirtiraj Prabhu who came for the first time in Russia and those KGB times and stuff. And I remember our first meeting with him and I mean, how strict he was. And that time I was army officer, lieutenant of commando army. And when I came first time and saw the devotee falling down like uh, aliens, and it was this antennas, <laughs> internet, pajama, all these bed sheets. I said, what's going on here? I like philosophy though. But I, I, I thought, no, 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 no. I will never bow down, Mr. Hari Rama, Hari Krishna. I like philosophy, but I could not just bow my head because so much pride but slowly 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 Krishna knows how to how to cut your roots and to you know by force to surrender you like Draupadi trying one hand trying to take shelter of ATM card and friends and bank balance and what not Bhishma Pitamaha Kripacharya Dronacharya nobody could help us until she put two hands up, Krishna, then he manifested as a sari. So I was an army also, personal, personal realization, Anubhava. Army kicked me out, my family kicked me out. I was working as a sweeper in the street for three years. Sometimes crying and laughing, saying, Krishna, what's going on? From hero to zero. But then we understand looking backwards, like Steve Jobs said, by connecting dots backwards, you can understand that was Krishna's mercy. That was his plan to make us VIP, very insignificant person. And unless we are actually VIP, <laughs> very insignificant, we have to be humble. Then less resistance. As we speak about why uh, gold and platinum, very, very expensive metal, you know? Because a very, very less resistance power of metal. Very high voltage of electricity can go through them. And gold doesn't get hot very easily. Like, like copper, you can put 20 volt, immediately getting hot. That's why copper is used for cooking. Even small fire can cook. But gold, you can put 220 volt, 360, still cool. There is no... Because gold can accept, all right going. There is no resistance of metal. So therefore, devotees, Prabhupada used to say, acid test, acid test. Gold tested by acid, by the situation, acid-like. And who, uh, who was not tested? Everybody. You take anyone. Pandavas, Draupadi, Kunti Maharani, needless to say. Dhruva Maharaj, tears in the eyes, Vritrasura, Chitraketu Maharaj. So, spiritual life is just not comfortable zone. Shanti, Shanti, Anulom Bilom Bastrika. <laughs> and peaceful meditation. No, Srila Prabhupada said this is a declaration of war to Maya. Out of comfortable zone over there. And people going to hell, literally. 
And once we are in front line, in the battlefield, we can meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. We can share a few personal experiences, maybe time allows we in future, we can few days here still, we can share with you. And we need for the nectar, people looking for the nectar, there is different kinds of disciples. Scriptures explain there is some nectar, bumblebee, shishya. Bumblebee means nectar, 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 only nectar, nectar, nectar. They are going from Gaurapurnima to Brindavan, from one Mayapur to Brindavan to different temples for the festivals only. And when some hardcore work requires cleaning temples, Prabhuji, I am so fallen, sorry, I cannot. Only nectar, I am fallen, I am so fallen, nectar, nectar, nectar only. So the bumblebee devotees. Another kind of devotees, they are uh, Kim Eka Kaha, it said. Kim Eka Kaha. Eka means, Kim Eka, what can I do alone? I'm alone, what can I do? So I cannot. I can. Kim Eka Kaha. Do this. No, Kim Eka Kaha. I'm very sorry, cannot. Prabhupada was Eka. He went to America and challenged everyone, all world practically, sitting under the tree. Hare Krishna. Shaken everything. Prabhupada was like, who said? Rameshwaran Prabhu said, he was like, um, Emperor of Universe. <laughs> Once I was here only with Rameshwaram Prabhu. We were sitting in Prabhupada's quarters. And uh, I entered there and he was along there in the carpet sitting where he used to give reports to Srila Prabhupada of book distribution. And he was praying there with Prabhupada very deeply. So much so even some emotions I saw in the eyes. And I was just sitting quiet in the corner. And then when he finished, so, I asked him a few questions and he started to pour his realization about Srila Prabhupada. And he said, once I was sitting here, Prabhupada didn't come yet. Here only. And then I was waiting and waiting and then Prabhupada arrived in the door. No, he just came and I saw Prabhupada. Wow, you are shining like Indra. He saw. And Prabhupada said, what nonsense, Indra. I am much more than Indra. <laughs> We know how pr humble Prabhupada was, but he wanted to make a point. Don't compare spiritual master with demigods. He is a Sakshad Haritvina Samastra Shastri. And uh, whatever Prabhupada used to do, seems like impossible, but we know better what happens if somebody has no ekakaha, but he is with Krishna, he never ekakaha. And as a kind of disciples are there, they are, you know, Preshita Preshika. Have you heard? When Guru gives you order to this. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, yes, definitely. Guru goes, Hey, Bhakta, come here, come, do this. He means he takes the order and delegates the order to, to others. Prashita Prashika. He never does anything himself. Prabhupada said, not lazy, not crazy. So very, very important to be humble. And of course, we should not be blind disciples. We have to be open-minded, humble. Eager, laulyam ekalam mulyam, to hear about Krishna. Like that. So then nectar will come. Where, where is the nectar? Hari sadava set tatra yatra bhagavata janaha gayanti bhakti bhavena harir namai vakivalam. Whenever devotees coming together, start to chant holy name of Krishna. Then nectar comes. Krishna will reside there. And I would like to conclude with wonderful shloka I like from scriptures. Uh, Anyone who would like to get the real nectar of Krishna Katha. Where is the nectar? Where is the nectar? So this is, this is one saying, statement, Audhav vidhav vadhu mukhi Adhav vidhav vadhu mukhi Phaninam nivase swarge shudha vasati vai Vibudha vadanti Vibudha vadanti means Vibudha Very intelligent people, they say Audhav vidhav Vadhu Mukhi. Audhau means ocean. Vidhau means moon. Vadhu Mukhi. Real nectar in the lips of the young married wife. Paninam Nivase. Or nectar in, in the um, Nagaloka, where snakes resides. Why? Because when demigods, for example, ocean, why audhau vidhau? Audhau means ocean. When demigods were churning the ocean, the nectar came, right? Dhanvantari came. Supposed to be there in the ocean. And then vidhau, chandrama, somarasa, 
They're drinking this, you know, somrasa in the moon. Or people say that this is nectar in the lips of young wife. Or in the Nagaloka, when snakes, when Bhima, remember when Duryodhana gave him poison and he fainted in the water, snakes fed him cups and cups of nectar and he became powerful like 10,000 elephants. So maybe snakes, they have nectar. So, Swargi Shuddha Vasati Vai, Shuddha means nectar. Maybe in the heaven, where is the nectar? Vibhudha Vadanti. No, nowhere. Why? Because there's some problem is there. Ksharam kshayam patimritam garalam patantam. What is that ksharam? If ocean has a nectar, why it's salty? Dosa. Some mistakes are there. If there is nectar in the ocean, then why it's salty? Not at all nectarian. Then why ksharam kshayam? If moon has a nectar, why it's becoming amavasya and always diminishing, diminishing? It's useless. It's self dying every time. And if young wife's lips has a nectar, then patimritam, sayam, sayam, patimritam. Why husband dies? Husband dies. Or gharalam, if snakes they have a nectar, gharalam, why they so poisonous? Patantam, and demigods, if swarga has a nectar, they, why they, patantam, why they are falling down? No. So where is the nectar? Kshāraṁ kshayam patimritam garalam patantam kanthi shudhā vasati vai bhagavad jananam The real nectar is kanthi shudham in the in the throat, in the mouth of pure devotees. Bhagavad jananam. Because when devotee speaks about Krishna, that's nectar. And that nectar, what can happen to us by hearing this nectar from the lips of pure devotee, Prabhupada said. Yasyam vai shru yamanaya krishne parama purushe bhakti rutpadyate pumsam shoka moha bhaya paha Those who are listening Krishna Katha from pure devotees, they will get bhakti and they will become free from shoka, suffering, bhaya and moha, illusion and fear. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Grantrat Shimad Bhagavatam Mahapurana ki jai, Shila Prabhupada ki jai. Thank you so much. Thank you. Swast Hare Krishna. Hare.